Hi everyone, uh, this is Will, the beer champion, and today we're actually doing a, a non-alcoholic beer pairing. Uh, today I will be doing pairing with this particular food stuff, sushi roll, uh, and very specifically, the Philly roll. It was actually my mom who first introduced me to sushi. She would have little sushi parties at uh, at her house. We'd roll sushi because we didn't have access to <laughs> any sushi restaurants for 15, 20 miles back in the 90s. And so she, she like uh, many people of her generation, were just like, hey, you know what? Let's just make it at home. Mm. Boys love it good. A good Philly roll. Mm. Invented in 1984 by Madame Saito, which means the queen of sushi. Um, I Saito uh, traveled the world uh, creating what we now know as American sushi. I mean, a lot of what she did is now what we find at sushi restaurants all over the world. Um, Philly roll is emblematic of uh, usually three main ingredients, uh, cucumber, smoked salmon, and cream cheese. And since she was uh, teaching at the sushi school at the time, that's what it's named now. Honestly, we really just need to have a California, uh, I'm sorry, uh, a Seattle roll at this point. And it, the three ingredients that usually come up are uh, cream cheese, avocado, and smoked salmon. Cream cheese uh, is emblematic of Seattle because of the the Seattle hot dog, which is uh, a hot dog with cream cheese on it. Uh, and smoked salmon we get because you can get it here. But in my mind, I'd probably put like dark cherries on that and swap out the avocado because the avocado doesn't grow anywhere near here. Uh, you'd have to go 500 miles in some direction to find fresh avocados. Why it's tied with Seattle beyond me. But the thing that we're pairing this particular uh, sushi roll today with is some fever tree ginger beer it's non-alcoholic ginger beer ginger beer uh has been well it's been popularized since uh like 1855 in england where this uh, particular beverage was founded fever tree was founded in uh london in 1944 by uh, charles rolls and tim warillo Ginger has been consumed, oh, it's like 500 BC in China, as the story goes. As an aperitif, it's a digestive, which means it helps you digest. Mm. And ginger and sushi have just gone together for as long as I've ever known. Um, some people say uh, to use it as a palate cleanser in between uh, what's called uh, magi sushi. Uh, which is the, uh, you know, the rolls um, that it's uh, most common outside of Japan. Um, and this particular kind of sushi, kawari sushi, uh, which is uh, the rolls with, what's the filler roll? It's, you know, fish, salmon, cucumber. But, you know, I don't, I don't harshly judge people who um, put ginger on their sushi. Uh, the ginger helps cut through the richness of the cream cheese and the fattiness of the salmon and just pair nicely with the uh, with the cucumber of it all because uh, you've got your cucumber flavor and your ginger flavor and they uh, they work well together in a lot of different contexts. Um, Beaver Tree, they have a minority shareholder, uh, London's development capital, and uh, but they're still just uh, putting out a bunch of products. They're in like 50 countries, and I uh, am a big fan of them as uh, both a mixer and just drinking ginger beer because they are delicious. And uh, and sushi is great. Uh, not, I mean, it's, you know, not truck stop sushi. I, I got this particular sushi from Safeway, which is a, has a pretty good deli, and, uh, wasabi could be a little bit hotter, in my opinion, just saying. But they, <laughs> they are very, uh, good grocery store sushi, and, and I think this pairing works pretty well. Ginger beer, sushi, sushi.
juicy and ginger beer. Mmm. Mmm. I know it's the whitest thing, but cream cheese. I love cream cheese. It was how they got people in Philadelphia to start eating raw fish for the first time because they'd never experienced that before. A student of uh, Madame Saito, it was um, a Jewish customer, which probably based some of the, um, some, you know, this recommendation on sushi uh, to her on, um, you know, eating salmon, um, capers and, and cream cheese. So as a way to get people in Philadelphia to introduce to the idea of that, she probably helped um, traditional Jewish uh, eaters uh, quite a bit uh, to ingest the food. And ginger has been around forever. Oh, lovely pairing. And uh, yeah, so try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, better um, salmon and cream cheese pairings, better uh, Philly roll pairings, better ginger beer pairings. Just let me know. All right. Have a great day. Like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah.